In this video, I'll teach you how to create the classic Super Mario game using the Arduino Uno G. Creating a Mario game with Arduino is a fun and an exciting project for those who are interested in game development and electronics. This project involves building a simplified version of the classic Super Mario game using an Arduino microcontroller board and some basic electronic components. So let's get started. So we'll take 16 by 2 LCD display and one I2C display converter and we'll connect both the circuit as you can see in this video. So we will take the four jumper wires and we'll connect the black one to the ground pin. Similarly, we'll take the red wire and we'll connect it to VCC pin, purple wire to SDA and gray wire to SCL. The remaining side of the jumper wire will connect to Arduino Uno board. We'll take the black wire and we will insert it says where it is ground. So we'll insert the black wire in the ground pin. Then we'll take the red wire and we'll insert where it says 5 volt. Similarly, purple wire to the A4 point. And the gray wire to the A5 point. Once that is done, we will arrange the Arduino Uno board on the breadboard and the 16 by 2 LCD display as you can see in this video. Once that is done, we will take the buzzer and we will insert in the breadboard as you can see in this video. Now we will take the jumper wire which is yellow in color, we will insert in the point 2 and the other side to the one end of the buzzer as you can see in this video. Now we will take the black wire that will insert right next to the black wire uh, which is ground and the one side to the buzzer on the breadboard. So this is how we make the connection and now we will insert the USB cable and will upload the code. In the description we have given you the link in which you can download the code. Once it is downloaded, you can extract and then you can locate that folder and you can double click the mario underscore game dot ino file. If the Arduino ID is installed, it will open up the Arduino ID and you can see the code as you can see in this video. Once this is done, we need to install one library called liquid crystal that is also given uh, in this code link. You will locate the library inside the folder and you would install by clicking open. If the library is already installed, then it will ask you to overwrite. So either you can overwrite or you can ignore it. In our case, we will ignore it by clicking on no. Once that is done, we will click the LCD underscore scanner dot ino file. We will select the board and the port. In the board, we will try to search you know and we will select Arduino you know and we will select the port on which the USB is connected. Once that is done, we will upload the code. If there are no error, then you can see the output I2C device found at address 0x27. It could be different in your device. So we will copy that. We will switch back to the Mario code 
we'll go to line number 41 and we will replace that value with whatever value we have got in the LCD scanner. In our case, it's 0x27. And once that is done, we'll click the upload code button. And if there are no errors, then the code would be uploaded. We'll remove the USB cable and we'll take the 3.7 volt battery along with the holder. And we will insert that in Arduino Uno. If the circuit is proper and the code is proper, then you will see the display start game robo code and uh, the value zero you hit the buzzer button and the game will start so press the buzzer button to avoid the obstacle and that's where you can jump if you hit the obstacle then the game will be over so you can again hit the buzzer button and start the game so every second you don't hit the obstacle the counter increments from one two three four so on as you can see in this video the moment you hit the obstacle, the game will be over. So this is how you can create the classic Super Mario game. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.